Hello everybody, Stevie T here. And so for the final video of the three videos of the reboot for 2018 is going to center around intentions. Now, funny enough, speaking about intentions, um, I was guided to speak about intentions as the topic and I said I'd do a topic video, so here I go. Um, I do intentions before everything. When I wake up, before I get out of bed, I have an intention for the day. Um, sometimes they're more general and sometimes they're more specific. I'll get into that. But I was doing intentions before each video, just as I do intentions before each Reiki healing and before I do in each reading. And it was not my intention to have these videos come out in two parts for each one. First one being my story, the second one being October, November, and December, the three months ahead. If you haven't seen either of those, please do check them out if you feel guided and pulled by your heart to do so. And, um, you know, here's, I'll just share with you my intention. Topic is intentions. Intentions. So everything begins with energy. Electricity is super fast. And think about the moment that you were thought of by creator. I mean, think about, isn't it wonderful? Think about, even in meditation, go do this as well. Explore this topic. Think about the moment your soul was created, was thought of, was intended to be so, because creator, the universe, God, whomever that you subscribe to that's bigger than you and that which you are never separate from intended to be so, thought of. And that's an amazing thing. So example, uh, the general gist of before I do a video is my intention goes something like this. Thank you God for contacting all the people who are supposed to view the material that which I am putting out that are open and receptive to my kinds of services and my way of communication and thank you for protecting me and if I have something specific I'll go into that and I'll say uh, something to the effect of um, just basically about the reach and letting it be seen by the people who are supposed to see it not a moment too soon, not a moment too late, and then a whole bunch of gratitude for the opportunity, basically. Now let me go to the intentions. Oh, so I did that, and then they ended up being two-parters. But see, I'm learning here on this, it's a, a different phone I have, that there wasn't enough space, so it ended at 33 minutes, and I'd have to go do a second video of um, around 10 minutes or so. So I'm learning. So anyhow, when you first wake up, Oh, yeah, go back. Thank you. So, um, intentions are really important because it is a way of grounding. It is a way of, first of all, I would say speak out your intention out loud. It makes it more powerful. And to write it down makes it more powerful. To bring what is coming through physical, make it physical, is very powerful. Sharing your intentions with others is very powerful. And it makes it more exponentially powerful. And we are powerful on our own, yes. So in the morning, I will set, oh yeah, intention, thank you. So it's a very grounding thing to do intentions, and it sets the precedent, it sets the energetic framework for what you are entering into, even though, you, of course, everything's happening now. But it's a really creative area where you can set the tone, the framework, the energy for whatever it is you're about to get into, create, participate in, receive, what have you. So before I even get out of bed, I make sure, now this is all practice, and practice makes the master, and it's not about perfection, it's about progress with everything. You see how many tidbits there are in these videos and what comes through me? And you'll notice through other people too, who don't even do what I do at, for a living or have these titles that I've placed on myself uh, to be found, like psychic, medium, intuitive, etc. Um, everyone has nuggets, gold nuggets of information, including yourself, that is able to be picked up and utilized. So before I even get out of bed in the morning, I don't, you know me, I bounce around. Before I even get out of bed in the morning, I intend, 
yeah, sometimes every day is different. Again, general or specific depends on how I'm feeling in the morning when I first wake up. And I'll say, thank you, God, for another day. First of all, it's gratitude. Gratitude goes so far. And so I say, thank you, God, for another day. Because it's not guaranteed. Many of, you have, many of you have experienced lots of loss, a lot of loss. I'm one of these people. Now, it's just physical loss. And yes, but it's all valid. So even though I know that for example, in the other previous videos, my sister and my father and my grandmother and other people I've known, they're transitioned and non-physical. They still tell me, oh, honey, it's okay to grieve for us. It is still real, even though you, you know from your own experience. Because, see, words don't teach. Experience teaches. And, and all experiences are teachers. And so they're like, please do grieve. Please do honor your emotions. Please do. And I'm saying... Yeah, but I'm just being so weird because I'm just focusing on the on the physical. And they're like, well, you know, you now have a new relationship with us. And so do all of you. You all have a new relationship with those that you've known physically, whether they're animals or they're people. And it's just, it's an expansion of the relationship. However, it does take perspective to see it that as being so. And they're saying, you know, please do uh, grieve for us. Please do remember us as physical, um, you know, especially since that's the only way that you knew of them in this life consciously up until a certain point. So, um, why was I talking about that? I guess I just wanted to push that through. I can't tell where I am, but I know I was talking about when, when I wake up in the morning before I go and do anything else. I say gratitude. Thank you for this life. Yes, because it's not guaranteed. So that's my point there. Um, Thank you for the opportunity for another day. And then I said, it is my intention that I experience, and, and I'm picking this out because this is usually in all of my intentions for every day, no matter what I might intend specifically. Because, you know, sometimes you know you have meetings or you have a gathering or you have a project or you have to begin something or finish something or finish something or create something. Uh, and mine are always like, thank you for harmonious and truthful, compassionate, loving and understanding communication and interactions with everybody I come across, whether they be a person or an entity. And that's multi-layered, but it means a corporation, you know, could be your telephone company. It could be whatever, you know. Um, Thank you for the compassion, the understanding, and thank, and, I, and it's my intention to experience, so you just really just lay it out, and it's my intention to experience um, 400 happy and exciting, joyful surprises by the end of this time tomorrow. Also, it is my intention to, and if there's something specific you know about, put that in, what your intention is about that. Really be creative with it. This is your creation time. This is your grounding of your experience. This is your energetic crafting of what is to be because you thought so be and because you said so and or you wrote so or all of the above. Okay, so then when I'm going to, um, when I'm, now you can break it, break it, break it, break it, break it down now and even go from like, okay, between here and the bathroom, between here and walking down the stairs, my intention is this. And it can be as simple as that I don't fall, or it can be as simple as I get a wonderful surprise. Now, you don't need to know the how or the why. You are the what. You are the desire. So you just play. Um, so one real practical one I do is when I'm getting in my vehicle, or if I'm getting in a vehicle, somebody else is driving me. And I'll say in my head, or, you know, whatever I want out loud in my head, both. I'll say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you usually happens in threes with me. And a lot of you that are Arcturians that are starseeds will go to threes. Um, so thank you for a very safe trip to blank, the place or the area. And then add some fun things in there because this is your creation. You are co-creating your life. You are created. You are a creator and a co-creator with others as others co-create with you. Life is this fun experiment and this creation where things are mirrored back to you and you can, it's just fun. So you're the artist. 
And so I say things like, um, thank you very, very, for a very safe trip to blank. Thank you for saving me a really close parking spot in front of blank. And thank you for as many opportunities and it's my intention to experience as many opportunities as possible for me to laugh until I cry. I don't have to know how any of that's going to happen. I can ask for specific surprises. You, I mean, there's no limit. Your mind is the limit. Beyond the sky and beyond, beyond, beyond. There's no limit. Okay, so get really creative. Start practicing. If you're not already, okay, this is just my topic of the day. I don't already, I don't know if you already do this or not. Um, just led to express this and how beneficial it's been for my life. Um, you start to feel, I wouldn't say like more in control, although that could be, it's a one way of putting it. I, doesn't really resonate with me to say the word control. You feel more like the creative being, but she, that, I mean, I'll speak from my own experience. I feel more like a creative being that I know myself to be, that I know that I was created to be and to use and to utilize moment to moment and when I decide to. And of course, we're always choosing things consciously and subconsciously all the time. So intentions are everything. Before you enter a relationship, before... And you can do them before, during, or and after, as long as it doesn't overwhelm you. Just like when you're monitoring your thoughts, uh, I would suggest, you know, you can kind of drive yourself crazy by trying to monitor every single thought. So say if you were uh, monitoring, pr practicing and practice of monitoring your thoughts to make sure that you're thinking things on purpose that are positive, you know, they can get to an area of perfection and that can confound the brain and stress us out. Um, Seek to be blissed out, not stressed out. That just came through. So, yeah, be mindful, be creative. Um, what else do I do intentions for? Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, before I go to sleep, most of the time, again, it's about not about perfection, it's about progress and practice, is I say, well, for, I like to call in, I acknowledge Jesus and Nazareth, that's just me. And also, I like to call an Archangel Michael, it's just me. And then I, it all, it all goes to God, so do that. And I say, okay, it's my intention. Now sometimes before I go to sleep, in my dream time, I want to experience very specific guidance on very specific things or a specific problem I, I'm perceiving to be a problem in my life or a very specific, um, oh, show me uh, the things that I'm not seeing correctly and show them to me my dream state in the most undeniable way that I can possibly pick up and receive in this now for my dream state tonight. Um, please illuminate for me within my dreams and it's my intention that in my dreams tonight what is illuminated and highlighted is exactly, so it can be general, is exactly whatever I need to know for my now moving forward for this week, for this month, for this year, for tomorrow, for today. Even before you take a nap, you can take a nap in a day and be like, is my intention to have the most perfect rest and deep level of healing and rest in my nap or my sleep? For the high, and I always end it off on for the highest and greatest good of every each and all. And that's just a way of my vocabulary. So make sure that you're doing things is what I'm advising to um, do everything for the highest and greatest good of all. So it benefits the highest and greatest good of all. So many things in the past have been self-serving or power over others. Making intentions mindfully, willfully, emotionally is setting the path forward where you are acknowledging that you are part of the ripple, the ever increasing ripple that goes out and affects everything because we're all connected, everything's interconnected, we're all one, it's just my experience, not telling you what to believe. Uh, take what you want and leave the rest where you found it. 
and it's acknowledging your part in everything and it's making intentions is empowering and for me to intend for the highest and greatest good of all which is what Reiki taught me when I started being Reiki trained um, and every teacher is different so I don't know if every teacher talks like that but it's always about the highest and greatest good of all concerned and never forget especially for you people pleasers I've been one um, and sometimes they still slip in and then I get right back on track okay is that includes you don't forget that includes you too you givers over givers people pleasers placaters and I can tell this is a lot of language of Libra and um, we're in Libra season right now and the moon right now is in Taurus as I speak in this video and Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus is a ruler of Libra so yeah here's use it like a coloring book so use what I gave you they're, they're, they're showing me like um, a coloring book that hasn't been colored yet and so I'm gonna say it out loud is an end off here which is use what I've expressed today to you about this topic as the black and white coloring book and you have colors at your disposal that are known and unknown and have been perceived before and haven't been perceived yet at your disposal and you color in and you even add in I'm hearing with a marker or a black and if it's black and white and it's an outline another part of the outline of the picture that which you intend to create and build and be co-creator with and color it all in and be very creative, be boundless in your expression and include it for the highest and goodest good of all. Mm, that feels good. Okay, so yes. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much. Do subscribe and do leave a positive comment if you wish to. And I will see you next Friday. Every Friday I'm gonna put out at least one video and yeah so thank you very much i'll see you soon next week blessings everybody and it's my intention for you all to have the week that which you choose to experience through your conscious creation and co-creation thank you thank you thank you and that is honestly my wish for all of you to have a safe enjoyable fun life enriching experience beyond your wildest dreams full of abundance wealth which can be anything money wholesome food wholesome conversation wholesome activities wholesome drink and things i can't even fathom right now whatever is for your highest and greatest good and so it is because i said so thank you blessings